Jim and Jack. And they are a collection which comprise of belief systems. Now, when you get right down to the basics of belief systems, they're all built up out of soft belief systems. So, these two guys both think that Arsenal Football Club is the best football club. And that drives <laughs> all of them. What's the matter with them? I just feel like one of them should be renamed Ben, my boyfriend. Who <laughs> <laughs> would tell you the same thing? That's a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to take a picture of that later and send it to her. So, Jim and Ben. Okay. <laughs> um, they both think Arsenal is the best football team that drives a lot of their discussions around how football should be played, where it should be played, who should be first in the league. It drives a lot of things based on that basic scheme. They also believe, because they're old fashioned people, in a schema B, which is big boys don't cry. Tough it out. Yeah? And they agree about that, so they get on well. Yeah? And I'm often stumped with this to see. Can we come up with a C? What might be a C boy? Cats are better than dogs? Oh, it's not doesn't fit with these two guys, does it? Clarity is important. Chelsea's Football team, let's do that. And then D, dogs are better than cats and E and so on. Yeah? But, however, Jim has a belief in that friends, a specific kind of thing, a friend does things for another, for their friend, for no other reason than their friend. Because you grew up in an environment where friends have to support each other. It was rough, it was tough, yeah? There were lots of gangs, and you looked after your friends. And nobody counted how many times. It was just something you do, yeah? There wasn't a balance to be held here. You didn't keep track of how many times you saved your friend from a beating, you just did it. And, and sometimes you get paid back, it's a survival thing. Now, Ben here, it's a little bit more middle class, wasn't it? Hello? Of course. <laughs> of course. <laughs> <laughs> and he values gifts. So he believes in a gene. He doesn't have one there. Here's the thing about friends. If a friend gives you something, you own them. It's only right that you should pay them back. Yeah? Subtle difference, which never became a problem until one day, Jim here gets given by Arsenal Football Club for long serving support of the club to Arsenal Times. First thing that enters his head, you can see where he's going, can't he? He goes to Ben and says, Ben, I've got two silk ties, Arsenal, here you go, mate, we'll wear them together till next match. What's the next thing that Ben says to Jim? Anybody? I hope you, mate. Who was that? Me. Yeah. I owe you. Yeah. yeah, I want to pay you for that. How much do I owe you? Now, remember, in Jim's world, <coughs> what has Ben just said? He's offended him. Huh? He's offended him. Because? Because there is no, that you don't owe me anything, in essence, in his world. Because of definition of friendship, yeah, there is no you don't owe me anything. Yeah. It's part of friendship. So, Jim here says, we're talking about that. Well, well, I thought we were mates. And Ben says, so did I. If you're going to be funny about it, you. Yeah? Tim says, no, you back. Give me that flipping tie back. Take it, I don't care. Poof, five bottles. And. <laughs> 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 hey, <we're a> tie. <laughs> 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 Over a tie. Over a tie. But it's not the tie, is it? That's the point. It's about break down the scheme, which if they were standing here and I explained this, they'd go, oh crap, sorry, wouldn't they? Do you know what I mean? So that's what I'm sharing with you. Now, if we look at people this way, there are many more opportunities for us to build a friendship and an understanding and tolerance and resilience that we're talking about here this week. So, you know, like 
50 years on, there's two old guys back down the road. Jim, Jim, where have you been? Who's, who the hell are you? Can't say, wait a minute. Ben? Oh, you are. Let's go down in Arsenal tonight and have a beer off. It sounds great to you. And have a walk along the road exchange some histories of what's been happening. Yeah, oh, that's great. It's good to see you. What the hell was... Why haven't we been talking all these shit? Oh, it's that bloody right tie you were doing. You're still on about that tie? Yes, I don't know about that. And off it goes. Now, how silly is that? Isn't that dumb? Over, like you said, over a time. But it's not about the time. It's about them valuing each other's belief. All Jim has to do, when Jake says, what can I give you for that, Jim? He'll say, well, I don't that feels wrong. But that's my world. And to say, remember about Red Cross? Ben, why do you think you have to give me something? But friends, you can have that for nothing. And Ben goes, uh, it feels kind of awkward because in my world I owe you and I don't want to let you down. And he says, oh God, I wouldn't want you to feel that way, Ben. Of course not. I tell you what, buy me a beer in the pub tonight and we'll call it quits. Ben says, that sounds great to me. Thanks, Jim. And there's 50 years wasted life gone. See how that works? But it's about accepting the difference. Cool. So, your discussions here, the only way it becomes any kind of agreement in this daft exercise, because you know there's no real answer to that exercise, right? The only way you can come to agreement is to explore those differences. What's the basis of that decision? Let's get to that. Then I can understand you, I can work with you and value you. But I need to first understand how is it we've got such radical differences.